call the meeting to order. Will the township clerk please read the statement? This is a meeting of the township council for Monday, July 25th, 2016. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided to the public and the press on January 5th, 2016, and was posted on the bulletin board in the municipal building in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, NJSA 10 colon 4 7. Roll call. Councilmember Murphy? Here. Councilmember Ooms? Here. Councilmember Rizzuto? Councilmember Wetzel? Here. Council President Cage? Here. Please rise with the flag. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, may I request that a that the petition item be moved up on the agenda, please. Motion, one motion. Is there a second? Second. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, would the clerk uh, please announce the results? This is um, the referendum petition to oppose and repeal town, Township of Vernon Ordinance number 1616. I, Lauren Kirkman, Municipal Clerk of the Township of Vernon, County of Sussex, and State of New Jersey, do hereby certify the following. Pursuant to NJSA 40 colon 69A-184 et sec, the referendum petition to oppose and repeal Township of Vernon Ordinance number 1616 has been signed by sufficient signatories. Further, the previously noted deficiencies have been cured in accordance with NJSA 40 colon 69A-188 et sec, the petition is now deemed sufficient. Dated July 22nd, 2016. Is there a motion well, I'm making? I'd like to make a motion to rescind uh, Ordinance 1616. And I'd also, um, I think because of the, um, I think I'd actually like to also pass an ordinance or introduce an ordinance. So, so Councilwoman Murphy, if, if, uh, if you cared to make your motion in the form of the ordinance, um, I did, uh, there was some legal advice given to the council from attorney Doug Steinhardt. I conferred with Mr. Steinhardt tonight to make sure we were giving the same advice. Um, and if you were going to move to repeal ordinance 1616, I would suggest that you do it by ordinance and I would suggest that you do it with an introduction of the ordinance, which you can introduce by title only tonight. And the title would be an ordinance to repeal township ordinance 1616. The wording would be now therefore be resolved by the township council of the township of Vernon County of Sussex state of New Jersey that ordinance 616-16 be and hereby is repealed in its entirety and for the record it would be ordinance 16-21 uh, if you care to make that your motion. Is there a second? Second. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll make that my motion. Okay. Um, and the date for the public hearing would be on August the 8th? That's correct. Okay. <clears throat> Just so I clarify, you have a motion on the table to rescind, and then you also have a motion for an ordinance with a public hearing. Yes. And the motion to rescind made by Council Member Murphy, seconded by Council Member Russell, and then we have a second motion for the actual ordinance. And that is made by motion. <laughs> I, mean. I think we can't have two main motions on the floor at the same time. Okay. okay. So should we vote on the first one? Yes. Yes. Okay, so Roll call. Councilmember Murphy? Yes. Councilmember Ooms? Yes. Councilmember Wetzel? Yes. Council President Cage? Yes. Okay, motion carries to rescind ordinance sixteen sixteen and then you also have ordinance sixteen dash twenty one with a public hearing on August, August 8th. 8th as noted by Mr. Erson. May I have a motion? Motion. May I have a second? Second. All right. Well, is there a discussion? Roll call. Council Member Murphy? Yes. Council Member Moon? Yes. Council Member Wetzel? Yes. Council President Cade? Yes. The motion carries to introduce Ordinance 1621, Ordinance to Repeal the Township Ordinance 1616, which will have a public hearing on August 8th. 
Could I, could Ms. Mr. Council President, if I could just, just make a passing comment just so the council, I believe the, count, the council is aware of this, but um, just so everybody's on the same page. The effect of certifying the petition means that the previous ordinance 1616 has no effect. It's currently suspended. And uh, although your motion tonight to rescind and the, the ordinance to vacate the ordinance will take effect and will essentially clean up the record, uh, the, you should all be aware that by virtue of the petition being certified, the Environmental Commission uh, is in existence according to the code that's currently in your code book, um, as if this uh, procedural um, chain of events had not happened. Okay. Uh, may I have a motion to open the floor to the public for public comments? Motion. Is there a second? second? I'll second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Does anyone wish to come forward? Good evening. Um, Mayor, uh, council members, members of the viewing aud audience, and members of the audience, I'm here to invite you all to my charity run for victims of sexual abuse on the please 30th. Please state your name. and. Oh, please forgive me. Uh, Natalie Mahoney. Um, I'm here to invite you all to my charity run for victims of sexual abuse. You know me as the runner of Breakneck, but you also know me as a, fa a survivor of father-daughter incest. And sexual abuse in this community is a very taboo subject. And I've created a run, which will be held on the 30th of October at 11 a.m. Sunday at the Wawayanda State Park. And I actually have um, the chief assistant prosecutor freed from the Passaic County um, uh, the Special Victims Unit, who's going to come to my run to speak about sexual abuse and all the proceeds there's a twenty dollar entrance fee and all the proceeds will go to casa and i wouldn't be here were it not for the entire vernon police department who taught me how to stand up for myself because one of the consequences of sexual abuse is that you're stripped of your ability to stand up for yourself and i cite four particular officers uh, under sheriff kaziki sergeant reed detective sergeant ha and detective gentle for going out of the way for me in order to help me learn how to stand up for myself. I look forward to all of you coming to my run, and I thank you very much for this opportunity to have spoken up. Natalie, would you repeat the date? Oh, October 30th. I gave the mayor a flyer. October 30th at 11 a.m. Um, in the Wawayanda State Park at the Boathouse. Okay. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. And I just wanted to add, uh, for those of you that are not aware of what CASA is, it's a, a court-appointed court special advocate, which I happen to be one. So it is a, a very um, worthy cause. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there anyone else that wishes to step forward? My name is Krista Gary, and I'm here because I'm standing up for myself. <laughs> I feel that I must respond to the accusation of former Mayor Victor Morata saying that I've called him a tyrant. Now I'm not up here to, you know, to say anything against him, but I just want to say I can't understand why you would make a disparaging statement such as that, especially at a public town council meeting. For the record, I don't resort to saying derogatory words about others. I don't engage in gossip. I don't seek revenge, and I don't hate. The only reason I have retorted against this false allegation and brought it to the public's attention is in the hopes that it will never happen to anyone else. I also want people to realize that they can't believe everything they read or hear. Everyone needs to be mindful that they don't engage in callous words of retribution. It doesn't serve any purpose and it keeps others from make, taking one's words seriously in the future. No one can afford to be judgmental against another human being since none of us are perfect. We are all flawed in some way. We should be able to debate facts in a mature manner and we should never ignore the truth and justice should always prevail over everything. I try to avoid controversy but I feel that this charge was wrong and very unjust. My objective in life is to try to do the right thing and speak up when I see something erroneous taking place. I think it is our God-given duty as citizens of this great country to speak up for ourselves and others when the need arises. In conclusion, I believe there is wisdom in the following quote. 
A wise old owl sat in an oak. The more he heard, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why aren't we like that wise old bird? And thank you. Thank you, Krista. Is there anyone else? <coughs> there be none. I ask for a motion to close the meeting Mo to the public. Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Oh, I did. Mr. Mayor, you have the floor. Thank you. Just take a minute for this to warm up. Krista, would you mind hitting the lights? Thank you very much. Township Municipal Utilities Authority, Sand Hill Pump Station, structural and electrical condition assessment uh, was supplied in July 2006 by the uh, Vernon uh, Township Municipal uh, Utilities Authority. Uh, this works here. Sand Hill Pump Station, resolution 05 170, sewer financing agreement with Mountain Creek Resorts. Incorporated was passed in October 24, 2005. The Sand Hill Pump Station, the facility was constructed as a treatment plant in the mid 1980s, converted to a sewage pumping station in 1991. Resolution 12 155 was a sewer financing agreement with Mountain Creeks, passed July 18, 2012. Mountain Creek agreed to upgrade this station by July 1st, 2013. At that time, it owed Vern $636,629 as of December 31st, 2011. Mountain Creek was responsible for 63% of the yearly budget deficit, if any, occurred by the Vern VTMUA beginning January 1st, 2012. Payments were due, date extended from 2012 to 2017. So before I was elected, or after I was elected, before I took office, I met with the MUA. And I asked them about this pump house. And they said nothing about, even though I asked, about the safety conditions. It was all about capacity, why they did not upgrade it. So I inspected it. It was not approved as of June or of July 2016, as required by this agreement. Ventilation. Back in December 7, 2012, our license operator said the ventilation is not working well and may need oxygen sensors for safety reasons. That's primarily the whole ventilation system right there is that fan. The uh, engineer's report on December 20th, 2012, and this comes out of their minutes, old and in poor condition, ventilation systems are failing, upgrades need to be done as soon as possible. In their engineering report in 2016, after I brought it to their attention, the ventilation rates were not conf uh, confirmed under this assessment. However, sufficient ventilation must be provided for operators when they enter. When I enter this place, it's something you'd see out of a third world country. The guardrail. I just want to point out under the net there, that's a 300 plus pound pump. They took it out months ago. Because of the catwalk, they cannot get it out of the pump station fear that it may collapse. Uh, in December again 2012, the license operator reported the catwalk and grading is fairly corroded, needs to be repaired or replaced. It is a safety hazard and could limit access to equipment. On June 25, 2015, although the system was found compliant and working, 
the inspector said the railings on the catwalk over the aerator chamber are rusted to a point the entry is hazardous. The guard railing, you see that's <coughs> it, over 10 feet of wastewater. MUA's engineers report on July 2016, the guard rails may not meet New Jersey Building Code 1607.8.1, posing a safety hazard to personnel. By their own engineer this July, corrosion is observed on the grading and handrails and poses a safety hazard. The walkways and handrails are recommended to be replaced in accordance with the current building code and OSHA requirements. The electrical system, there, that's a window and those are all electrical cords coming out of those boxes. The wet well building is class one, division one, hazardous environment. Existing electrical equipment located in this area that is not rated for this classification must be replaced. Action taken. Once I inspected this, this is what I did. Personnel must enter as a buddy system. I don't want anybody entering the building by themselves. The township engineer advised and also was inspected. The risk manager advised and also inspected this facility. The VTMUA was advised of the hazards. Mountain Creek was advised and put on notice of the hazards. Sand Hill Pump Station Engineers assessment following notice of hazardous conditions. Again, the facility is old. Due to the age of the facility and the changes to the building codes, several code compliance issues were observed. Some of the deficiencies have safety issues. Recommend to be undertaken immediately. Mountain Creek's response, new owners verbally agreed to take immediate steps to safeguard Vernon's employees assigned to operate and service this pump station. So that being said, what I would like the council to do is investigate how do we allow this to happen? To put our employees at risk. From 2012, we should have known about this. The licensed operator, their own engineer said it, and nothing was done. Now, we can't shut the pump house because that would destroy the system. But Mountain Creek has agreed to do any upgrades necessary before they upgrade the whole pump out. But safety is the first thing we need to consider. So that's my presentation. Time the uh, Mountain Creek has wanted to totally replace that, correct? They do, but they're probably a year or two away. With their new plans, they want to move it across the street. They said to me by the end of the summer they'll make the application for it. But then you have to go through the DEP, and it's a long bureaucratic process. What are the engineer's recommendations in terms of upgrading it? As of yet, the reports aren't done. Uh, Mr. Stoner is working closely with uh, Saran, and they're also working with Mountain Creek's engineer uh, because there's going to be cost. The original, original estimates were as high as $80,000. However, they're going to see if there's somewhere we can compromise, not the safety of the employees, but how we can keep this running. Right now, there's only two pumps running. If one of those goes down, uh, there is no extra pump. Well, just in terms of ventilation, take that as, as a, uh, a priority. Couldn't you expand the size of that fan to draw out more air quicker? I don't know. Not being an engineer, uh, I talked to Mr. Mr. Stoner three hours earlier today, and by the end of the week I should have his recommendation. I mean, they have fans that are five feet in, in diameter. I mean, you can take one on one side, suck in fresh air in, and this one's blowing out also. Uh, they're going to try to get the pump out this week by putting plywood on the catwalk and plywood's up because you saw it's just that thin chain is railing and they're afraid if it goes in. In other in, words, the, the cross members are, are sturdy enough to support the They don't know. They still have plywood to. Plywood and 300 pounds. They're hoping. They'll pull it out. Uh, there was some discussion even putting a hole in the roof, lifting it out with a right. crane. 
also see if they can get a back hoe arm in there and pull it out that way but they don't know where the guardrail is going to go and this station can't go down and plus you have I believe the creek's a C1 creek and it's only about 200 feet away downhill uh, could we have a um, an action plan with dates deadlines it's when I get the original uh, report I'll work with them as well as the MUA and uh, again Vernon uh, Mountain Creek will be part of this also do the ordinances have to be firmed up in terms of penalties that I don't know we I don't well, know what you, the penalties you, are you own this pump station it's our asset but they were responsible to upgrade it in 2013 July 1st, 2013. And have you have you spoken to the chair of the MUA and the and, and John Serbo regarding because you you mentioned something now you have this information where did you get this information from was it something they provided you? Um, I, sp I spoke with them several times. It's been contacting the engineers. I've been working with the engineers and just put everybody on notice that this condition existed. So a lot of it's been researched. Uh, Pulling out the old ordinances, the contracts. Uh, you know, I made Mr. Urson aware. Mr. Wenner's been made aware. Mr. Seinhardt's been made aware. Can you provide us copies with um, what you have, what you've discovered so far? Because I know you said you'd really like to know why it hasn't been taken care of. Yeah, I'll but give you a copy of the PowerPoint. I'll write out a formal memo to everybody in the. Because uh, I'd like to take a look at. And Mr. Urson, of course. Could you also include a plan, the floor plan? Yes, I'll ask the engineer for that. Thank you. Does that conclude your report? No, I have uh, several addition, additional items. This administration encourages business and entrepreneurship. However, the days of Vernon's municipal government looking the other way are over. I will enforce legal standards whether it pertains to ABC licenses, building codes, contracts, and zoning, et cetera. The 2012 interlocal agreement is one example of how our municipal government failed to enforce a contract that put our employees and citizens at risk. Other examples of our municipal government not fulfilling its legal obligation are as follows. There are permanent residents living on the eighth floor in Legends. They cook off of hot plates that could result in tragedy such as a fire hazard. We saw a fire in March 2015 led to the deaths of seven children that is believed to have been caused by a malfunctioning hot plate on for the Sabbath. The blaze was in Brooklyn, New York, killed three girls and four boys aged between five and 16 and left their mother and another child in a critical condition. This is a serious matter when you have kids up there and these people are living off hot plates. There are no stoves in these apartments or rooms. Our codes have never been changed to allow permanent resident renters, but this zoning violation has been tolerated. Owners in violation will now receive summonses for allowing permanent residents in legends, and they have been put on notice. One owner did something about it, and the others have done nothing. Northwoods consists of several deserted condo units. In 2012, they were declared in an unsafe condition, and they were assessed fines amounting to $400,000. This fine is compounded weekly at a rate of up to $2,000 a week. The outstanding fines are over $700,000. This matter is being pursued because the structure was declared an imminent hazard in 2015 and are subject now to demolition. I've also spoke to Mountain Creek about this. The major concern right now besides the building is deciding who owns it. ABC licensing. Hotel and motel licenses, number 36. This type of license may be issued to a person or business entity who operates a hotel or motel containing at least 100 guest sleeping rooms. Two such licenses are issued to Vernon businesses. It is alleged that neither licensee has 100 sleeping hotel rooms. One of the businesses forfeited the license when I brought this to their attention. The other has four months to show that there are 100 such rooms. We were willing to go 180 days, the state said no, four months. Members of the GAC Beautification and Recreation Committees, as well as other volunteers have begun and will continue to weed and maintain Route 17 median because the county has failed to do so. 
I've abandoned the idea of building a parking lot at the Appalachian Trail boardwalk. State, federal, and various trail organizations have failed to provide funds to purchase property and build a parking lot. The county has pledged existing, um, assistance, but I will not burden the Vernon taxpayer with an estimated $200,000 bill. <coughs> I am exploring creating an ordinance that will prohibit parking on muni municipal streets in the area of the boardwalk to see if that's going to be feasible. Last year, the DPW constructed the impound garage. <coughs> it was without electricity. The building now has, we've run the trench, and electricity is going to be provided. So they have electricity in there. We can get the security system up and video cameras for additional security. I'm exploring the economic feasibility of selling our sewer system to a private business. Two entities have expressed interest. A resolution from the council will be needed, and this transaction will be considered for referendum. An economic feasibility report is due in mid-August. Again, this is only under investigation because of the two people or two businesses ex expressed interest in buying it. I advised the VTMUA that I am considering no longer providing township employees for shared services. Part of the consideration was initiated by the deplorable work conditions at the Sand Hill pump station and my intention to decrease the municipality's workforce to stabilize taxes. The Environmental Commission. Over the last several weeks, I have engaged our citizens and proponents of the Environmental Commissions. As one official pointed out to me, it's not the concept of the EC that is your problem, but the current agenda of the Environmental Commission. Law dictates the governing body of any municipality may by ordinance establish an Environmental Commission for the protection, development, or use of natural resources including water resources located within its territorial limits. The Commission has the power to conduct research into the use and possible use of the open land areas of the Township and may coordinate the activities of unofficial bodies organized for similar purposes. From time to time, the Commission may recommend to the Land Use Board plans and programs for inclusion in a Township Master Plan and the development and use of the open areas of the Township. Although I do not agree with all of Jeff Tintel, who is the director of New Jersey Sierra Club's opinions regarding future expansion of Hamburg Mountain, I do agree that these mountains are important because their forested canopies protect wildlife species and are our clean drinking water. Vernon is part of the Highlands region, which is one of the most environmentally sensitive areas in our state. These mountains are environmentally sensitive but our current EC supports expanding the sewer service map to include Hamburg Mountain. The Environmental Commission represented the township on matters outside our borders. From here on in, no committee or commission members will represent Vernon Township outside of Vernon's borders without the express written permission of this office. Much controversy surrounds the no, let, the no lost tree grant. Both Ms. Butts and former Mayor Murata indicated there is a contract that increased Ms. Butts' financial compensation, compensation regarding the grant. There is no council resolution to support this, and although Ms. Butts claims she has a contract, she has yet to produce the document, even though I repeatedly requested a copy. Ms. Butts is either mistaken that there is a contract or insubordinate for her failure to produce the contract as requested. I have forwarded this matter to the DCA for an unbiased opinion. The EC has failed to update our natural resource inventory, which is a necessary tool for sustainability points and also grants. The previous administration did not see fit to correct the terms of the EC, even though they had four years to do so. I will correct the terms as prescribed by law at the 2017 reorganization meeting when I appoint new members to the EC. Tonight, there are two openings on that committee right now. I'm going to appoint Mike Fury as an alternate two uh, to the AC, and I'm going to appoint Sally Rinker to Alyssa Port Portero's seat. To date, I've not appointed a chairperson for the EC, and I will now appoint Mrs. Rinker as a chairperson to the EC. That is it. Thank you. Next, we have approval of the minutes. Uh, a special meeting minutes of April 29th, 2016. Executive session minutes for May 9th, 2016. Regular meeting minutes for May 9th, 2016. 
and regular meeting minutes for May 23rd, 2016. May I have a motion to approve the minutes? I make that motion. I'll second. Would you make your motion specific? To approve the minutes. As bulk, four sets? As bulk. Okay. As bulk. All right, is there a second? Second. Uh, roll call. Council Member Murphy? Yes. Council Member Gould? Yes. Council Member Wetzel? Yes. Council mm -hmm. President Katie? Yes. Council Chair Okay, next we have the consent agenda. <coughs> resolution 16 171, resolution of the governing body, Township Vernon awarding service weapons to a retiring police officer. The, as the title implies, this resolution authorizes the award of service weapon to Officer Scott Pollock. Resolution 16 172. Resolution authorizing the extension of the 2016 third quarter grace period due date only. Since the county certified the amount to be raised by taxes late, the mailing of the tax bill was delayed. This provides for an extension to accommodate the delay. Uh, I think that's August 18th. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, resolution 16-173, authorizing application and execution of the 2016 Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over Statewide Labor Day Crackdown. Grant administered by, administered by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The township would like to make an application for this grant. Resolution authorizes the same. Resolution 16-174, Awarding a contract to Otis Elevator Company for replacement of the power unit in the elevator located in the Vernon Township Municipal Building. The, author, the township authorized this repair as part of its capital purchase. Uh, resolution 16 175. Resolution of the Township Council of the Township of Vernon County of Sussex, State of New Jersey, appointing <laughs> deputy custodians of records. This resolution appoints various department heads as custodians of records. Uh, for the processing of OPRA requests. Resolution 16-176, authorizing the payment for emergency demolition of EarthTech Associates and certifying a municipal lien on Block 20.04, Lot 31, uh, 1859 Route 565 in Vernon Township. Due to emergent circumstances, the township had to award an emergency contract. This finalizes the final payment for the demolition. May I have a motion for adopting resolution 16 171 through 16 176? Motion. Is there a second? A second. Okay. Roll call. Council Member Murphy? Yes. Council Member Gordon? Yes. Council Member Wetzel? Yes. <clears throat> President Keenan? Yes. Uh, I assume there's no discussion in separating those. We're done it. Introduction, first reading of proposed ordinance. Ordinance 16-19, the ordinance amending the salary ordinance for a non-union employee. The township currently has a salary ordinance establishing a range for deputy register, registrar. This ordinance expands the range, lowering the beginning of the range from 4,800 to 2,500. I have a motion to introduce 16-19. Motion. With a public hearing to be held on August 8th. Is there a second? A second. Uh, roll call. Council Member Murphy? Yes. Council Member Hoon? Yes. Council Member Wetzel? Yes. Council President Cated? Yes. Motion carries to introduce Ordinance 16-19 with a public hearing on August 8th. An ordinance of the Township of Vernon, County of Sussex, and the State of New Jersey prohibiting, prohibiting commercial vehicles from using Vernon View Drive Bridge. This ordinance prohibits commercial traffic from utilizing Vernon View Drive Bridge. We have a motion to introduce the ordinance 16-20 with a public hearing to be held on August 8th. Motion. Second. Is, uh, roll call. Council Member Murphy? Yes. Council Member Green? Yes. Council Member Wetzel? Yes. Council Member President Yes. Motion carries to introduce ordinance 16-20 also with a public hearing on August 8th. Public hearing, second reading of ordinances. <coughs> Ordinance 16-18, bond ordinance making a supplemental appropriation of $90,000 for the acquisition of vehicular equipment heretofore authorized to be undertaken by the Township of Vernon in the County of Sussex, New Jersey, authorizing the issuance of $85,700 in bonds or notes of the Township for financing such supplemental 
appropriation. This ordinance is a supplement to the previous bond ordinance and provides bonding for various township vehicles. May I have a motion to open the public hearing for ordinance 16 Motion. 18. Second. Uh, roll, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Anybody from the public wishes to address the council on this matter? There being none, I ask for a motion to close. Motion. Uh, second. A roll call. I mean, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Can we get a second? Oh, I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 16 18? Motion. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Roll call. Council Member Murphy? Yes. Council Member Wounds? Yes. Council Member Wetzel? Yes. Council President Cage? Yes. Motion carries to, enter, or to adopt Ordinance 16. Council comments? <coughs> Anybody wish to go first? I'll go first. Okay. I um, went to the uh, Center Preve for Prevention. They had an open house last week, and on our website is now posted um, Military Families Night. Uh, so if anybody is interested, it begins in September, and um, military families are encouraged to attend so they can get all the information on our website. Um, I think that's, uh, that's about it. Okay. Ms. Holmes, Mrs. Holmes. Um, only thing I'd like to say is thank you. The bills lists are now on um, the town website, so thank you very much, Mayor Shortway, for doing that. Richard, no comment. Um, I have a, a question. I have a hard time understanding the numeration scheme of the bills list. That seems to be different. Can we change the format? that I'm aware of. There was some change. Uh, the CFO ex um, can explain that better at another time, but I can get the explanation for it. Okay. Uh, should I just drop into her office or? Or I'll ask her for it and get whatever's easier for you. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any, any correlation between the numbers that are being used the way we used to be able. We used to be able to, to see where the cash comes from. And now, now I guess it's just titled on the top. But I don't, I, unless there's, it looks like these are vendor numbers of some sort. But we'll I, research that for you and get, get back to you, Mr. President. This seems to be hard to track where things are coming from and where they're going. Mm -hmm. I'll All take right. care of that. Uh, I'd like to have a motion to adjourn the meeting. Motion. Is there a second? Second. A second. What about All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Aye.